I think it's really important for me to take care of myself in order for me to take care of others. In this video series, I get to sit down with some of the top agents in Vancouver and pick their brains about what they're doing to crush business in 2023. And today, I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with Chantal Vignola of the Brand Real Estate Group. Now, you have no doubt heard of the brand and, and Chantal. I don't care if you're new to this business, you've probably seen at least one of their videos somewhere on social media. They do an amazing job of, of killing it and leveraging all uh, social media platforms with their videos. And of course, at the head of that is Chantal. Now, Chantal has been in this business for 15 years is a mother of three and runs this real estate team of how many? We're nine of us. Nine <laughs> people. Guys, I can't tell you the level of sophistication that takes to run a team of nine, a household with three children, and then of course, we can't forget your husband, right? It's an absolute pleasure to sit down with you, Chantel. Thank you, Thank Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Do you remember your first year in real estate and can you tell us what that was like? I do, it was in 08, so uh, the crash of 08. Wow. So I got my license at the end of 07 and then started working at Century 21 in Town Realty in 08 and naturally it was a pretty scary year. I think I did one deal in my first year. It was my ex-husband's place and he ended up paying $5,000 in special assessments. So I clearly didn't know how to read strata documents very well. Um, but uh, that was, I, and I grinded that one out. So it took me, I, in my first year I only did one deal. Wow, yep. and here you are 15 years later, one of the top real estate teams in the city. Thank you. Um, I, I saw recently you just received another award. I did, um, top 1% of Century 21 agents worldwide. Thank you, yeah. Amazing. It's good, it's good. Amazing. Thanks. So clearly, you are doing a lot of things really well in your business, but I'd, I'd love to know from you what you think is the one thing that you do really, really well. Listing presentations. Yeah. I do listing presentations really, really well. Um, we've developed a pretty great uh, listing package for our potential clients and that's where I'm able to meet our upcoming clients, talk about the properties that I'm always really passionate about, as well as our marketing. Uh, right. We put out some fantastic marketing yeah. so uh, and we're always getting more creative and, and adding new things and so I, I just love going into a listing presentation, knowing the product, getting to know the people, you know, it's just it all comes together and uh, I'd say that 99.9% nine, .9 of the time Time, you know it's a yes so wow how do you get most of your clients I think it's a bit of a mixture now that we're really um, focusing on our marketing in mm -hmm. the early days it was really based on referrals yeah. and open houses I worked open houses like a like a, a champion um, right from the beginning because in 09 I was pregnant with my 13 year old son so I was doing double open houses so like uh, 11 to 1 2 to 4 in wow. heels pregnant whooping around Yaletown and uh, I picked up a lot of business th doing that yeah. and that's what set up the foundation for my business. So open houses is key, key, key um, and then referrals after doing a great job then that person tells the next person and away you go. Uh, now we're getting a lot more of our um, clients from marketing which is great. We have that bus stop when you come off of the uh, Lionsgate Bridge yeah. that gets 44,000 impressions per day and so that's kind of brand recognition um, so along with the marketing, referrals, open houses, and then repeat uh, through the buildings, right? So when we sell a property in the in the buildings or in the neighborhood, we're really on top of getting our marketing out that we sold that property so that the people in the building and neighborhood can know about us. I love that. Yeah. What is your strategy or how would you say you're leveraging social media for your business right now? I, again, it's about brand recognition when it comes to social media. Mm -hmm. So getting out there, showing that you're doing deals, that you've got listings, but then also taking a creative spin on it. Um, you know, I, it's important to show your accolades not too much can that, that can be annoying but some, come up with something fresh and creative on social so I know that reels are super important so we try to stay up to date with what's working and you know stay away from what's not um, I really like social media but it can be exhausting to try to come up with something new and creative <laughs> so if I'm in a creative mode I go for it if I'm not I just let it lay because I think it's quality over quantity totally. and um, people don't want to see the same thing over and over and over again like listing sale listing sale so you have to 
give it a bit of a mix. And also, it's important to show a little bit of your personal life. I've kind of gone back and forth on this a lot. And um, when I show my personal stuff, it gets the most um, views. People want to be, they want to know, but not too much. And it's important not to put the kids in there too much. So it's been a real learning curve on this. It's, it's been a big one in the last say, three, four years about learning what's too much, what to pull back on, what image are you trying to portray? Uh, but you have to be honest, like honesty is key. And I mean, with your struggles or with your, with your uh, successes, but it's all in there. And that's how people communicate now is all on social media. So uh, being on social media as a realtor is so important. And then, you know, just taking it really one day at a time, because if you don't want to do it, don't do it that day. It looks forced. How do you juggle all of that? Do you, do you have a routine? Is, it, is there something specific throughout your day that, like, you know, a routine yes. that you follow? So I get up early and I what wake time? up um, between 5 and 5.20. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I get up and I meditate in the mornings, nice. every morning. And then I do a workout, whether that's, um, you know, yoga or I have the mirror. Do you know what the mirror is? Yeah. Yeah, the Lululemon mirror. So I do that. We have an elliptical machine. We're lucky that we have a gym in our home. So I get up and, um, and I work out after that. And then we get the kids off to school. I usually like to get into the office between 9 and 9.30. I'm an office person. And then I come in and we like to kind of banter a bit. This place is always full of energy. So we kind of banter back and forth. Yeah. Okay, what was the open site? What was everyone doing? And then I go and I've, I've always got a to-do list going. So as a mom of three and a successful realtor, I'm going through my to-do list, checking things off. Um, and then filling in my calendar for next week. It's, it's a constant moving machine. I can imagine. Um, and, but I take a lot of time for myself. I think it's really important for me to take care of myself in order for me to take care of others. So I'm taking care of my kids, my husband, the dog, the clients. My husband takes care of me too, so it, it is a team. Of course. Um, and, uh, it, but if I'm not taking care of me, I can't take care of other people. So that's super important too. But what would you say is the most powerful habit that you have? in your daily routine? I don't drink alcohol. Mm. And so that keeps me tip top. Um, and I think that that's probably the most powerful habit that I have. It's, is it a habit? Uh, it's a choice. Um, and it's a choice because it's a superpower and it makes yeah. me super strong, super clear, confident, uh, able to juggle. Yeah. And so that's uh, a pretty big piece. I think it's important to share it because yeah. it's important to me. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you predicting for 2023? The interest rate is now leveled out, right? And so people are getting a, li a little bit more calm about that. So that is not fizzling, but you know, a little bit more confidence in the interest rate slowing down. That's number one. Um, number two is that there's no inventory. There's no inventory to buy. If you're a buyer in the city, there's nothing to buy. So if something comes up on the market, there's a lot of people showing up to want to buy that property. Yeah. Supply and demand, there's just not a lot of inventory out there to buy. If it's a new product coming on that is properly priced at market, um, or even slightly, slightly over that, maybe by one or 2%, it's getting attention because there's no inventory. Yeah. I don't think that the average buyer is scared of what's coming. And we're also in the most beautiful place in the world. Who doesn't want to live in Vancouver? You know, I just have so much gratitude for where we live. And the third thing is that this downtown market has been flat since 2019. Due to the pandemic, people didn't want to come into the city. The businesses were closed, the commercial uh, offices were empty, but people are coming back to the city. Businesses want their people back and it's being cleaned up. Our new mayor is doing a great job of bringing the city back to life. So I expect to see big things in the city in 2023, especially 2024. Confidence is back and um, our city is beautiful. So people want to be here. Who is someone that you admire in the business and why? I'd say two people. Mm, two people. Um, I love Monica Soprovich. Uh, she is a just such a wonderful person. Um, her um, philanthropic background, her desire to want to help people, her kindness, her honesty. She's beautiful. Um, she has four kids, so similar to me, she's a powerhouse uh, woman in real estate, and I just really respect her. Um, and then Eric Christensen for me yes. is just. Uh, you know, stand-up guy. He's fantastic. Such a good guy. When I see these um, realtors that have been in the industry 
20, 30 years that still have you know, integrity, honesty, and they're growing their business and people trust them. Yeah. That's the type of real estate agent that I want to continue to be and I want to teach my team to be and I want to work with. So one month down. That was quick. 2023 already. I know, <laughs> yeah. right? Crazy. Um, What's your focus for this year? Our focus this year is to really um, build this team. So um, most of our agents are newer agents and we're really training them to be the best that they can be. So we at the brand are quality over quantity. We're not going to be a revolving door where there's people coming in, coming out, coming in. And so we wanna make this team you know, rock solid. Continuing on with our marketing, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, marketing with various teams in the city to try to get more creative and take a different spin on things. So that's what I'm putting my energy into this year. We're, we're working with some luxury um, real estate companies that are using our brand your home techniques yeah. and it's uh, it's really good. We're, we're excited to see what 2023 has to bring. I can't thank you enough for sitting down with me today there. You just brought a ton of value to every agent out there. I'm glad, yeah, I'm always happy to help. And if there's ever a new agent that wants some help or advice, please pick up the phone. I'm always happy to, to share my knowledge and experience. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate you coming. Yeah, Okay. my pleasure. Cheers, bye.